go, JJ, this is it. Our first job. We gotta snatch that car and deliver it to the guy who's gonna pay us. Yeah, Mikey, I get it. But, you know, this whole stealing a car thing feels a bit intense for a first gig, don't you think? Relax, JJ. It's just business. We're getting paid, and that's what matters. Besides, it's not like we're hurting anyone. I just hope it's as easy as you make it sound. Where's the car anyway? All right, Mikey, keep an eye out. I'm going in to grab that car. That's what I like to hear, JJ. Now, drive it to the drop-off point, and I'll meet you there. What if someone notices us? This feels a bit too conspicuous. Relax, JJ. We blend in. Just follow the route I gave you, and we'll be in the clear. Trust me. Okay, JJ, you got this. Just keep it together. Mikey said the drop-off point isn't far. Stay focused on the road, and everything will be fine. No sign of anyone following. Mikey's lookout skills better be on point. So, this is the life of a wheelman, huh? Never thought I'd be the one behind the wheel of a stolen car. Mikey made it sound so easy. Just grab the car and drive, he said. Well, here I am, driving a hot ride. JJ, good job. You made it. Now, let's go meet the buyer. Trust me, JJ. He's a man of his word. Just follow my lead, and we'll be counting the cash in no time. Mikey, JJ, I assume you've got what I requested. You bet. Top-notch wheels, just like you wanted. Mikey, JJ, you've delivered as promised. The car looks pristine. Told you it's quality work. Now about the payment. Of course. The funds are on their way. You'll find them in your account shortly. That's good to hear. We worked hard for this. Hard work deserves compensation. You two have potential. We aim to please. If you ever need something else, you know where to find us. JJ, my man, that was smooth. We nailed it. Can't believe it worked out. The guy even paid up without a hitch. We're in the big leagues now, JJ. But this is just the beginning. We gotta keep the momentum going. I've heard about a sweet deal coming up. High stakes, big payout. Details, Mikey, don't keep me in suspense. A high-end jewelry store. They got a shipment of rare gems coming in. Our inside guy says it's a gold mine. Jewelry heist, huh? Risky, but the payoff could be huge. One eternity later. JJ, check it out. The owner's locking up for the night. Opportunity knocks, my friend. What do you have in mind? We've been casing this place all day. The owner leaves around the same time every night. We can use that. A late night heist when no one's around. Clever. What's the plan, Mikey? First, we need to deal with those. I know a guy who can disable them temporarily. We slip in unnoticed. You've got all the connections, Mikey. What about the alarms? Mikey, take a look at this. Security cameras everywhere. This place is a fortress. They've really beefed up the surveillance, but don't worry, JJ. I've got a plan for this. See that utility box near the back entrance? Our tech guy can tap into the security system from there. Create a temporary blind spot. Absolutely, JJ. He's a pro at this. As long as we stick to the plan, those cameras won't know what hit them. Mikey, take a look at this. Wanted posters. It's us. Well, well. Seems like our little car theft caught up with us faster than expected. What do we do now, Mikey? We can't go ahead with the heist if we're on the police radar. We need to lay low for a while. Let things cool down. Maybe find a way to clear our names. Mikey, we need to figure out how to hack those cameras. We can't proceed with the heist if we're blind to their surveillance. You're right, JJ. We need some hacking gear. Cameras must have a weakness we can exploit. JJ, this hacking stuff is way out of my league. Any idea where we should start? Mikey, I'm as lost as you are. I thought hacking was supposed to be more... cinematic, you know? Yeah, I was expecting something more like in the movies. Just type a few lines of code and voila, camera's hacked. Maybe we can just buy one of these fancy gadgets and figure it out as we go. JJ, check it out. The cashier's out like a light. Let's make a move before they wake up. Good call. We need to keep a low profile. That was too easy. Let's find a quiet spot to regroup and figure out our next move. Agreed. We need to sort out this hacking situation and stay off the radar. JJ, follow me. I know a guy who's got the hookup for all things hacking. He operates in the shadows. A real tech wizard. A secret seller? Where do we find this guy? Trust me, he's not the kind of guy who advertises. You gotta know where to look. Mikey, my man, what brings you here? This is JJ. We're in a bit of a bind and need some hacking expertise. Cypher's got it all, JJ. We'll be unstoppable with these gadgets. Hope it's worth the price. We're investing a lot in this heist. Trust me, JJ. The payoff will make it all worthwhile. This guy's the real deal. That's a scrambler. It'll mess with any radio frequencies in the vicinity. Good for disabling communication systems. Cypher thought of everything, huh? 
Absolutely! Now grab that lockpicking set, we might need it. Now I will take you to a secret place where you can learn to use a master key. This skill will be useful for you to go through with me the robbery that you and I have planned. I hope that you will not merge and we can do this together in the near future. Please listen to me, this is very important and a skill that you should learn right now. A hidden lockpicking lesson, huh? I like the clandestine vibe. All right, JJ, pay attention. It's all about finesse and feeling the pins. See how I apply just the right amount of pressure? It's all about finding that sweet spot. Nice work, JJ. You catch on quick. Lock picking is an essential skill, and you've got the knack for it. Thanks, Mikey. Never thought I'd be doing this, but it's surprisingly satisfying. It's a handy tool in our arsenal. Now let's review our plan for tomorrow night. Cypher's expecting us, and we need to be on point. Agreed. We've got the tools, the plan, and now the lockpicking skills. We're as ready as we'll ever be. JJ, tonight's the night. Keep your wits about you and follow the plan. Got it, Mikey. Let's make this heist one for the history books. One eternity later. JJ, this is it. Remember the plan. Cameras first, then alarms. We go in, get what we need, and vanish. Got it, Mikey. We've come too far to mess this up. Cypher's tools should make these blind to our every move. Go ahead, JJ. Good job, JJ. Now let's move to the security room and deal with the alarms. JJ, the safe is just beyond this door. Remember, patience is key when cracking it. Take your time. Got it, Mikey. I'll make sure we get in without leaving a trace. Please just don't rush me. Because if you rush me, then I'll miss. And I won't be able to open this door well. And then the alarm will go off. Don't tell me under my arm. Just because it might take my professional skills. Mikey, we're in. The door's cracked and we've got access. Good job, JJ. Let's make this quick and efficient. Grab what we need and let's get out of here. This is the final stretch, JJ. Cypher said there's a specific combination to this one. We can't afford any mistakes. Got it, Mikey. Let's see what Cypher's intel can do for us. Mikey, more cameras. We can't afford to be caught on our way out. What's the plan? Cypher's tools should have something to blind these eyes. Let's find a way to disable them temporarily. Mikey, check out that Porsche. Now that's a ride. A Porsche 911, huh? We could fetch a pretty penny for that. Imagine what we could do with the cash. Mikey, are we thinking what I think we're thinking? Oh, we're thinking it, JJ. We're gonna upgrade our game. Time for a change of wheels, Mikey? Let's make it quick and clean. We grab the Porsche, sell it, all right, JJ, you've done crazier things. Just a car, right? Come on, come on, Mikey would be proud. Well, that was smoother than I expected. Mikey would be impressed. Porsche 911, you beauty. Feels like I'm in a movie or something. This is just the beginning. We grab the cash, score the dream house, and who knows what's next? Mikey and I, we're on our way up. Oh, come on, not tonight. Smooth move, JJ, smooth move. Think, think, where can I lose these guys? Stay calm, JJ. You've been in tight spots before. You can handle this. All that remains is to bring this car to a buyer who will pay me money for it and I can get rich. We are now with my friend. Well, this just got a whole lot more complicated. There has to be a way out of this. Maybe there's a hidden passage or an alternative route. I can't let them catch me now. I need to somehow get out of this situation. Well, well, what do we have here? Looks like I caught myself a joyrider. All right, officer, you got me. I will never give up just like that, but you know, I can still get out of your prison. You just can't ignore me. I don't want everything to just remain like that. Believe me, I'll be back. I doubt that you will succeed. Think what you want, but I'll still escape from your worthless prison. They won't stop me. No conclusion. Even if you put me in Alcatraz, it won't change anything. It'll only worsen your situation. You know, I'm a legendary thief in law. Of course I believed you. You are an ordinary petty thief who steals cars. Remember my words, you won't get far, stop. I'll tell you again, think what you want, but you won't convince me. I'll still escape from your prison or it'll be too late, like me, where this road wouldn't be worth it. Good luck and the flag is in your hands. I hope that our security guard in this prison will succeed very much. Great. Go away. I don't need you here. Now I'll take out the phone and call my friend. I hope he hears me and comes to my aid. I don't even know what happened to him, whether he was caught or not. 
Now, that's exactly what we'll find out. Because I think that, Mikey, you won't believe what happened. I'm in a bit of a jam here. What did you do this time, JJ? Long story short, I got caught, and the cops are taking me in. Seriously, JJ? Well, I hope you enjoyed that Porsche while it lasted. It's not the time for jokes, Mikey. I need your help. Help? Oh, I'm good, JJ. Real good. I managed to snatch another ride, and guess what? Great. My friend will come now and free me from here, the military, or at least help me. All right, JJ. I heard you loud and clear. I'll bring you a pickaxe. You're not sitting in that cell for long. Thanks, Mikey. I owe you one. Just make sure you don't get caught again, all right? We've got a good thing going here. Here you go, JJ. Use it wisely and get yourself out of there. All right, JJ. It's time for you to take charge. Use that pickaxe wisely. And hey, once you're out, we've got more schemes to hatch, more heists to plan. You're not getting rid of me that easily, Mikey. Thanks for the pickaxe and the help. Excellent. Now, I will break this grill and run away from here. I hope that I will be able to do this as I have always dreamed of it. I hope that my dream is finally coming to an end. They have a lot of guards here, and I'll probably go up to the very top to find a weapon. And with the help of this weapon that I will find at the top of this building, I can shoot all the guards and finally run away and steal my Porsche 911. This Porsche will definitely help me win. Great, I have a weapon to deal with these guards. I'm finally going to break into the garage door of this police station in order to pick up my car that I stole earlier. It's a pity that this door is closed and now I need to open it somehow. It's good that I know where the master keys are located here. There are also security guards in this garage. Well, at least the car is there. I can take it as I wanted to do it. I'm afraid that my plans may be ruined, but I'll try to cope with it. Great, I have the keys. All that remains is to open the garage and I can leave. It's good that I know how to drive cars well, and this doesn't cause me any problems. I hope that it will continue like this. One day later. Good morning. Get up soon or you'll sleep your whole life away. Oh, good morning. I would have slept in if you hadn't woken me up so early. So I made plans for the day. What plans? I thought I was going to sleep all day. No. Today we're going to look for girls. And together I have to live with you. You think it's that easy? And it doesn't happen overnight. Come on, let's go to the balcony. I'll show you something. I'll only go if it's important. Come on, I'll show you something and then you can think about it. I hope you didn't bring any girls home with you. No way. There's a park under the house. Look how many beautiful girls there are. Are you serious? Don't tell me you've been sitting on the balcony all morning watching them. How can you tell if they're pretty or not from here? They're our neighbors. I know them personally. It's just a good opportunity to go meet them. All right, let's give it a shot. I've never met a girl before. I'm scared. I am too, to be honest. Well, now's the perfect chance to do it for the first time. I thought you'd say no. Now we'll have new friends or girlfriends. What if they don't want to meet us? You what? How can you say no to such handsome guys? Good luck. Let's go. Are you that nervous? Well, yeah, it's not every day that something like this happens. Well, the longer we stand around, the more nervous we get. And they might even leave. Oh, I didn't think of that at all. They could have left while we were coming down. Well, if they're gone, they miss the pretty boys like us. Here we are under the park. Oh, my hands are shaking. Calm down, Mikey. Hey, girl, can I meet you? No, I'm in a hurry. Girls, can I meet you? Well, you can. What's your name? I'm JJ, and that's my friend Mikey. What's your name? Hi, girls. I'm Martha, and these are my friends Cleo and Julia. Would you like to be our girls? You've got a nerve. You're hitting on busy girls. Oh, it's our guys. They didn't say anything about having boyfriends, so they're free. And we can win them over. At least we're prettier. Girls, choose who you want to be with, us or your ugly boyfriends. You hear me, ugly. I don't want to see you here ever again. Uh, I didn't really want to come here. Let's go, JJ. There's more of them. What are you afraid of? Who's scared? You're one pinky finger away from us. Hey, don't fight, please. We're not going to fight anybody. Thanks, but we don't need any more girls. We'll find our own. We got to get out of here. There's no point in fighting them. We'll only get our hands dirty. I just want them to remember once and for all not to mess with us. You guys get out of here. We don't want your girls. And it's their fault. Why did they meet us if they have boyfriends? I don't want to see you guys anymore. You're disgusting and toxic. Hey, come on. They got what they deserved. They'll remember that lesson. We never work out. We just wanted to meet some pretty girls, and they have boyfriends. You think everyone's a pretty girl? 
No, everyone's looking for someone like you. Can't find him. You're sitting here doing nothing. You need to make a change in your life. Well, how do I change it? Well, I don't know. You should go to places where there are a lot of people. Find yourself a company, and there you can meet girls. Tears will not help you in this situation. Okay, I hear you. Then I know a place where we can go. I need to drown my sorrows. All right, let's go. We don't need those girls and their stupid boyfriends. I agree. I didn't even like them that much. Uh, Mikey, it's a club. Oh my god, it's a nightclub. Yeah, it's a really cool place. Come on. God, it's a nightmare. I've never been to a place like this before. I feel bad. Hey, I want to meet you. Oh, hey, handsome. If you're okay with what I'm about to tell you, it's okay. Hey, come here quick. No, don't meet her. Why can't I meet a pretty girl? Because it's not a girl. It's a man with long hair and a woman's voice. Oh, what a nightmare. Okay, to relieve your stress, I'm going to pour you a cup of beer. But I never drank it. They said it wasn't unpalatable. Well, you try it. Come on, just join me for a drink. Well, just for you, so you won't be sad. Oh, you're the best friend. But just one cup. One cup and that's it. God, I have a headache. How much did we drink, Mikey? Oh, what's the matter with you? Why are you wobbling? No, I'm standing straight. You're wobbling. Whatever, come on. Let's go meet some friends. I'm sick. What kind of dating? Everybody pisses me off in this club. This is a good opportunity to find a girl here. God, I can barely stand on my feet. Are we drunk? Hey, guys. How are you? How are you doing? We're looking for girls. Mikey, don't get rowdy. Let's sing a song with me. La, 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 la. Break it up. I gotta go pick up my friend. FBI, Damn security, Mikey, get up. We saw you guys. You were hitting people in the club for no reason, and you were really drunk. That's not allowed at our club, so now you're coming with us to the station. Oh my god, what precinct? I'm sick. Mikey, get up. Let's go home, they're gonna catch us. We're gonna do 15 days. I don't wanna go to the police, I'm sick enough. It's gonna be worse. Run, Mikey, I got the lead. God, the whole crowd is behind you. Come on, you too, keep up. I'll meet you back at the house. You can't run away from us. You see how many of us there are. You better stop now or we'll lock you up for longer. I made it. No, you didn't. You have to close the doors on both sides. Oh no, I don't know why I'm doing this. Why did I ever listen to Mikey and go to that stupid club? Hurry, the elevator home. Oh, I'm on the roof. Where's Mikey? I'm so sick. Let's have another drink. It'll make me feel better. Are you stupid? You can't. Alcohol is very bad for your health. I don't know why I agreed to drink with you. Please, just a little more. Look at yourself. What's going on with you? Are you an alcoholic? No, I'm not much of a drinker. I said no, that's all. So I don't have to hear you whining about drinking anymore. Well, then I'm gonna go throw myself off the balcony. You retard. You don't know what you're doing. You're drunk. You need to sleep. No, I understand everything perfectly well now. And I realize what a bad friend I have. That it's so hard to give me alcohol. You realize I'm doing a better job than you. You could die like this. That's the end of it. I'm jumping. Please don't do that. Get me alcohol or I'll jump. No! Then goodbye, JJ. Oh my god, Mikey, why? Ha ha ha, you fell for it? You're a real idiot. I hate you. <laughs>